what's good everybody welcome back to my channel young stud back at you with another video today we're going to my jersey collection now this is going to be mainly baseball because i am mainly a baseball guy but i have bat well i don't have any basketball i have hockey and football but mainly baseball like 90 percent baseball so if you guys enjoy subscribe hit the like button and comment down below what's your favorite jersey without further ado let's get started Up first, we got the Dodgers Road Gray, number 21, Walker Bueller. Now, most of these jerseys are going to be authentic. No knockoff, no replicas. You got the 150 patch. You got the LA on the sleeve. Walker Bueller on the back. Of course, Walker Bueller is one of my favorite Dodgers. And so, I don't have the Road Los Angeles, unfortunately, but that is definitely want to be my next buy. The Road Los Angeles script. But I got the road to gray. At least I got one. And it's Walker Bueller. Jersey number two is a replica. Probably one of the only few replicas I have. It's a Cody Ballinger. It's a Nike replica. Personally, I believe the Majestic replicas are better. Because they are better quality. But the Nike does feel lighter than the Majestic. Because of the, the heat press. Majestic did have some stitched... Uh, the letters and numbers on but these are heat press so here is another replica this is a special jersey a limited edition i got this back like i was 10 years old it's neon green i am a big neon green fan and it just pops this is the only los angeles script that i have but again it's not the official dodger gray but it is still a banging jersey obviously and like i said i got this 10 years ago my guy matt kemp and obviously you can see it's faded out. It's been worn a couple times, but nonetheless, still a pretty good looking jersey, I think. And this is the big boy, probably, not even probably, the most expensive jersey in my collection. You got the Dodgers Championship Gold jersey. I mean, this thing is just beautiful. You see the tackle toy, you see the gold trim on the Dodgers and the number. You got the World Series Champions patch on the sleeve you got the roman numeral seven time world series champs obviously number 50 is of course mookie betts i don't like to cut uh any uh of the trim that kind of you know gets off i kind of leave it there it looks really cool to me personally and yeah number 50 mookie betts just overall a beautiful jersey uh, definitely my favorite in the collection now the first official home white believe it or not this is my customized jersey it's the Dodgers font script all stitched authentic um, this is size 40 is a medium size 44 would be a large uh, number 75 got the LA on the sleeve MLB 150 and again my name on the back number overall i was wearing this jersey a lot down the stretch like i was undefeated in this jersey so the last few games that i went to the dodger games i was wearing my jersey because we we're winning in it and so i was kind of superstitious and yeah but there you go my jersey home white next up we have dodger legend hall of famer clayton kershaw this was my first ever authentic dodgers jersey that i had and this was the old majestic one now the other ones have been majestic as well besides the mookie bets but personally i felt like this material was better because it felt more it felt more loose and for example the kershaw or uh, my jersey you can see that kind of that material on the side there it doesn't have it on this kershaw jersey so they switched it after like 2016 so personally i, I like this material better but Nonetheless, still all quality jerseys. And of course, you got Clayton Kershaw on the back with the LA on the sleeve. Home white. Personally, I believe the Dodger home whites are the best jersey in baseball. 
biased, unbiased opinion, but that's just me. All stitched down, authentic. Corey Seager, number five. I will miss Corey Seager greatly. MLB 150 patch, the LA on the sleeve. But yeah, Corey Seager, he will do great in Texas, I believe, but I'll still be rocking this Seager jersey at the ball games. Next up, we got Dodger legend, Justin Turner. You know, I'm a big JT fan. He signed a glove for me. And yeah, got the uh, World Series 2018 patch. I need some World Series patches, more of the 2020 World Series patch, LA on the sleeve. I gotta get up on those. JT on the back, all stitched down, like I said, authentic, home white, beautiful jersey. Last but not least, I have Yasiel Puig, home white, the OG Majestic material. Puig was probably one of my favorite Dodgers of all time. I will miss the Wild Horse, number 66. Of course, you got the LA on the sleeve. This is the last Dodger jersey, by the way, in the collection. Puig, 66. And if you're gonna own or get into a jersey collection, you must take care of your jersey, especially if they're authentic. You probably should dry clean them, that's what I do. It's pretty cheap, five bucks is what I pay per jersey to get dry clean, and they keep them in crisp, clean material, so dry clean your jerseys and you'll keep them long lasting nice and pristine non dodger jerseys now here we go padres i'm kind of sort of a padre fan because of my favorite player for now tatis jr this was his rookie jersey now i don't have him on this jersey yet i do plan to get him on this jersey on the back oh uh, this is the 2017 to 2019 jersey Honestly, I kind of like these jerseys. The Padres got rid of them this year for the or last year for the brown and gold, which they're sharp jerseys as well. But I don't mind this jersey. I'm gonna add the 50th anniversary patch for the Padres here, and then I'll be 150. You got the San Diego on the sleeve, all authentic, tackle twill, and yeah, like I said, this one is a blank so far. But Tatis, 23. So again, I can't wait to get this jersey customized. It'll be fun. Up next, we got this year's MVP, two-time MVP, Bryce Harper. Now with the Phillies, of course. The Phillies got a... It is not tackle twill uh, stitching. It's kind of a... It's a different kind of stitching. I forget the name of it right now, but it's really nice. Uh, got the 150 on the sleeve. I like this little touch before i didn't really like this touch with the number on the on the sleeve but i'm kind of digging it now now that i see it in person bryce harper and yeah overall i mean not a bad jersey i think the phillies jersey looks sharp and i'm glad i have this one then we have a replica jersey here of jose fernandez miami this jersey overall is not too bad i kind of like it the more I've seen it now in person before I, watching them on TV in person. I didn't really like these this jersey that much, but compared to this, the one they have now, I like this one better. I put this patch up on the right sleeve, number 16. Rest in peace. And of course, you got Fernandez on the back. I do want to get an authentic in this one though instead. So if you're interested, hit me up. You could work out a deal for this one. Now this is probably the best Braves jersey besides their home alternate red. I really like this one without the tomahawk. I love the tomahawk, but personally I think the Braves look so clean just across with the cream color. Honestly, this should be their home jersey. I mean, this is a beautiful jersey. It's Atlanta Braves, 1876. You got the uh, piping down the middle. Overall, just a clean jersey. I'm getting this one customized with Josh Donaldson because Josh Donaldson is my favorite player. He signed for me back in 2019 while he's with the Braves. So that's why I'm getting him in a Braves uniform, even though he was there for one year. But overall, just a clean looking jersey. Next up, we got the Texas Red. Again, tackle twill, all authentic, of course. We got the big Texas flag on the sleeve. A very sharp looking jersey really pops and of course this one is also blank 
on the back but new ranger Corey seager is going to be here soon enough and i'll be happy to have him on the back of this jersey now that he's a texas ranger so there you go texas rangers red i like this one a lot now we got future hall of famer on the detroit tigers miguel cabrera now i'm not a big fan of the tigers uniforms i think they're really kind of boring and just plain but you know what after seeing it in person the authentic in hand i kind of dig it it's really classy it's really nice it's a detroit d right there nothing on the sleeves but honestly it's really clean now that i see it and i'm kind of a fan of it now as you see cabrera on the back honestly a clean jersey overall last baseball jersey i will go over on this video is the new york yankees and if you're paying attention i have them in order by division so i had nl west central nl east al west to al east and this is the yankees the yankee pinstripes this is one of the older majestic models the first time they got this model so it is a really thick material i prefer like i said the kershaw material versus the new or the old majestic material or the new majestic material and i got the captain Derek jeter probably my favorite yankee of all time you know what i'm saying one of the greater yankees and so i had to have this one the yankee pinstripes Derek jeter classy of course baseball collection i'll be adding to this collection of course throughout the year i might check in again in six months maybe we'll make it a yearly thing i did just want to get this video out there because i thought it'd be fun i think my collection is pretty decent considering and so we're six subscribers away from 100 subscribers as i record this video that is amazing so thank you guys you guys are running up the numbers lately even though we have no baseball content not much baseball content to post you guys have been coming through checking my old videos subscribing so i really appreciate that from every one of you guys so we're only six away from 100 let's get it let's get to 100 by like the super bowl all right with that being said thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys on the next video